on, guys? Happy Three Strength Thursday. I'm Mike Snowden. SnowdenGuitars.com is where you can find me online. It's springtime in the ATL. If you can't tell from the sound of my voice with all these allergies I got going on, <laughs> but to celebrate, I got the ATL Three String Cigar Bots guitar here. You can check this out on my website at SnowdenGuitars.com. It's still available at the time of you making this video. I want to pass along a quick slide tip today for Three String Thursday. And check this out. Let's say you've got a riff going. So you got that going, right? And you hear that. There's a little thing that a lot of slide players do where you kind of bounce between two strings. Here, I'll kind of do it. I'll do it over and over. I call it like bouncing between two strings where you... A lot of slide players do it. Think of Almond Brothers. Think of think of Dwayne Almond. A lot of slide players do it. But all you're doing is you're going between the the high string and the middle string, right? Picking between those two strings, but with your slide on what, whatever fret you're on. Here, how it gives you that na 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 no. It's just a cool little thing to give your slide playing a little extra movement and a little more excitement, you know, when you're sliding around. Instead of keeping your slide like super still, you can slide up. No, 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 something like that. You could also do, let's say you're going to slide up, you could do the, uh, the 10th and the 12th fret. So the 10th fret on the high string and a 12th fret on the middle string. Little extra sound. You could do it any different way, but I find myself doing a lot like. So yeah, there's a little slide tip for you guys today. Give, give that slide playing a little more action. I'll, I'll kind of go out with a little, little shuffle and I'll throw it in there. So happy three string Thursday, guys. We'll see y'all next week.